Yo, what's up? This is Joshua Casper, and welcome to another Ableton Live video tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about Beats versus Complex Pro warp modes and saving on CPU. What I have here are 13 tracks, and we're going to pretend for the sake of this tutorial that they're all completed tracks. One's from Skrillex, one's from Zomboy, one's from, you know, whoever the F. And I want to play these at 100 BPM because that's the DJ set I'm going to be doing for this particular part of my DJ routine. And these are fully mix and master tracks, if you're going to be warping something and changing the BPM from 110 to 100, for example, 140 to 135, whatever, you're going to want to use Complex Pro Warp Mode. That's the one that is dedicated and just perfect for changing the BPM of a track that is complete. The one issue with Complex Pro is that it takes up 10 times the CPU as something like Beats. So I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate that for you. Right here I've got 10, uh, 13 tracks. I'm gonna select them all and just turn them on Beats right now and we're gonna check out the CPU meter over here. And as you can see, we're right around five to 7% on beats mode and now that they're still all selected I'm going to change them to complex pro and now we're going to play it and see what that looks like and look at that we're right around 80 percent 77 to 80 that's a lot that's a big jump okay but the thing is is I really need to use this warp mode because I'm going to be playing these 110 tracks at 100 bpm now, there's a super quick way to do that. If you come in right now, you can see that my segment BPM is in fact 110. I've already done all my warping, I've already synced it up perfectly. This is exactly the way I want it to play. Now, the quickest way to do this would just be to right click and hit consolidate or control J. I'm gonna go ahead and do this and we're gonna watch the segment BPM down on the sample window. So I'm coming down here, we're looking at the segment BPM, and once it's done consolidating, we should see the segment BPM drop down to 100. Boom, it's dropped back down to 100. It's also reverted back to the beats warp mode, which is what I'd want. So this is the same track as if it was warped on Complex Pro, but now being warped via beats. And what's happened, if you look in the file structure in the current project, under samples, process, consolidated, I have a new version of the track. And what I'd want to do is go into that folder and rename that from 110 to 100 because it's now effectively 100 BPM. The reason why this reverted back to beats immediately is because beats is my default warp mode. And it is, in fact, the default warp mode for the standard edition of Ableton, although you can change that if you come into preferences. And then you come into warp uh, record warp launch, and you can default warp mode. You can go up to complex. You can't go up to complex pro, but you can go up to complex. You can actually change it to whatever you want. I leave it on beats because I think that's the best one. To, that's a good place to start. And if I want to, I can always just change it down here. It's super easy to do. But that's how you do it. That's how you're going to be. You should be warping your track. So if you have a 128 set planned and you've got a couple of tracks at 130, you'd want to warp them perfectly and then consolidate them with your global BPM at 128 and it will consolidate the track warped with Complex Pro into that new BPM and then you can switch the warp mode back to beats and it will play perfectly for you. Anyway, I hope that helped. I hope you learned something and we will see you next time. Peace.